drop a like on the video if you guys enjoy competitive gameplay. If you guys enjoy La Monster versus Comp and this Comp Pro Am series, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all boys went crazy on the last video i really appreciate you guys so i'm asking you guys to do it again because today we are taking on the rank four pro-am team in the world they are called gg gang as you can see their record 56 and 5 now of course again let me show you guys the leaderboard so as you guys can see from the time this was recorded gg gang is ranked four in the world with a 0.965 win rate so grab your popcorn grab whatever you need to sit back and relax and watch you a banger let's jump right into this bro let's go so in today's video we are running a different lineup a lineup that i'm more comfortable with like i told you guys in the first video when we played the rank one pro-am team we had a lineup where we was just testing you feel me? we just going into pro-am not really sure what we want to do we had people testing in positions but today we have an official setup that i am more comfortable with of course you got me at the one of course you got diva again at her same position but now at the center position we have my boy jj with a paint beast build so it's not a popper now when i play i normally do prefer popper once i'm complete my new build i will probably play with a popper because i will be running like five out sets pick and roll like mixing it up i want to mix up the offense when i really start taking pro-am serious right now we're just queuing up and seeing if we really enjoy this mode and so far it's super fun of course this is the best mode i believe in nba 2k people don't realize it until they get into it and start playing it now for you guys who watched the first video you remember tkl rated i told you he was at the lockdown position but that's not his primary position now he is at his real position at the four and he's running his rifle position you guys are going to see the difference in this video and how important his position is everyone plays an important position it's not only about the point guard it's not only about the center everybody role on the team is important you can't win without a team effort even if someone has zero points he still counted he did something he played great defense so y'all gotta remember that and of course at the lockdown position i will primary lock my boy save reap if reap not on the, if reap not on the court it don't count that mean we testing lineups we trying to get backups and people for when like we just want to hoop but if reap you see reap on the court it's go time you better lock it in doug now let's take a look at the rank four they rank four for a reason let's see their pro -M team they rep it over yo shout out to my boy drizzy okay i respect it I do like Drake as well, one of my favorite rappers. As you guys can see, their lineup, it's more traditional, unlike the rank one team. Basically, you guys see a two-way facilitator, so they have a tall center. They have a two-way mid-range score, a two-way sharp, perimeter lock, and one point guard, which is a playmaking shot creator. All right, so I like it. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, he, that boy at level 42, six foot. Okay, my boy Dre, let's get right into it, bro. All right, now, real quick, I do got to say this because I be noticing a lot of people getting in their feelings when they lose a game, when they when they win, it's all GG's. Like, if you win a game, GG's. If you lose a game, say GG's. Don't tweet and post a screenshot only when your team wins. But when you lose, you don't post that same screenshot and say GG's. If it's respect, if you have a mutual respect for a, a player that you're going against, it's GG's both ways. It's a video game. Everybody lose. Nobody is perfect. No team will never be undefeated in this game because that's just how the game goes. So say GG both ways. I'm just telling you guys what I respect the most. It applies just to everyone in the future that we play against. It's GG's both ways. If you win, that's what's up. If we win, that's what's up. Now let's get into the gameplay. Ah, yeah. So I actually do remember this game, and I'm glad I have this gameplay because in this gameplay, I want you guys to see the struggles of what it's like to play point guard and pro-am and how you own up as a team captain when you make mistakes i make a lot of mistakes in this video and i don't want to cut those clips i want you guys to see it now as i said these guys came out in a pick and roll set i pretty much knew that they got an easy bucket now my teammate is calling his icon i pass it without even looking but that's still a mistake on my end because if he's not open i shouldn't pass to reap right there but i still throw a steal now as i'm making these mistakes i want you guys to pay attention to the game chat audio i'm gonna let you guys hear it what a point guard is supposed to do when you make mistakes you don't immediately blame other players on the team you take the blame you say that's on me that's my bad i'm playing bad i'm the point guard i'm the leader i'm messing up it's on me if we lose it's on me so i'm gonna show you guys me actually doing that as you can see it on the next possession look that's two back-to-back -back steals all right we good i fucked up all these possessions yo that's on me yeah yeah, hey, let me die right there. So as you guys can hear that, like I told you, that's ownership as a point guard. I'm telling my team, that is me. I got to warm up. I messed up on all of those possessions. It's the reason why this team is in the league. We have zero points because of me, not nobody else, not because of no screens being set. 
no, not because of icons being called it's strictly me so as you guys can see right there 2v1 i get them to jump i take the easy mini so you feel me finally get a bucket on the board starting to warm up now what i want to give credit to is my defense in this gameplay we are team strat life we do specialize in defense take a look at my team's defense and i feel like that is the contribution to whatever happens in this game whether win or lose shout out to my team defense i feel like other players uh well i feel like the only people that get credit when you win a game is the point guard because i got 40 points or the center because it got 30 points and i'll be seeing you guys in the comment section like i gotta give credit to the players that are making the crazy plays that you guys probably don't understand my lockdown and my power forward this game went crazy on defense so as i'm making mistakes you feel me they're helping me bounce back now like i told you i'm gonna i'm gonna warm up you feel me they got me a stop i got you a bucket that's basically how you want your team to be if your team gets you a stop as the point guard you gotta come down and get me a bucket bro like ain't no way we just gonna keep playing lockdown getting you stops and we don't get you a bucket now right there i feel like this is way too much help right there from the wing or from the corner five by d so they got a free three but it's cool it happens everyone makes mistakes like i said we all just got on the game so we're just warming up i dot my center down in the middle it's seven to eight we good we only down one now on this possession is what i'm talking about my lockdown and my po uh, power forward are having great communication on where they gonna play defense as and you see i told y'all tk's rightful position is the four and you see he got an amazing steal right there so like i told y'all once my team get me a steal or a turnover it's basically up to me to get a bucket now i shoot a contested shot now some of you guys don't understand what free boards mean free boards mean if the center helps and my center has a free board i'm gonna chuck it because i know my center is going to get the board now right there i green it that is an amazing shot over a seven forwarder. we got to take a look at that again bro quick quick replay will be dead right here you feel me down one point i do my little move speed boost to the left i got a wide open shot a quick stop even though the center played great defense and stop my build is set up to where you feel me i can make those type of contested shots and we green that thing and go ahead and take the lead and momentum now with seconds left in the first quarter they get a bucket to get the lead now listen if this was the fourth quarter this was one of the most clutch clutchest plays i've ever done imagine fourth quarter we're down two points and i do this this whole moment should have the heartbeat sound in the background because it's too epic bro i do a move go to the left the center moves i fade away with seconds left green but it's not green we actually made that fade away to get the lead at the end of the game like y'all don't understand those type of plays are momentum shifts bro they change momentum. Momentum is actually real on the game, bro. Now, as you can see, I dot the corner. We get a foul. Now, unfortunately, like I told y'all, we are park players. We don't we don't play pro am, so we don't create our builds to make free throws. So none of my teammates have free throws. That's why I'm telling you guys, like we just queuing up the pro am, bro. We're not even taking it serious because if we was, we would make new builds to get free points on stuff like that so you see three missed free throws because we don't have pro-am builds with an actual free throw rating on it and that's just the risk we have to take but even still with that even with my dot being kind of wasted it's cool it happens my teammates play defense again we're back on the offense of course we're in the second quarter now they switched up their defense they're more in like a defense where they're doing a rotation that i showed you guys in the first game play which is a w so i gotta learn how to read the defense right here we got a simple little two-man pick and roll they're playing good defense they got me box i just go and chuck it because i know we got a free rebound pass back to me we get a second chance we still up one by the way keep that in mind now these screens i ain't gonna lie are totally better bro like the fact that my new center jj is like you feel me really giving them big bodies i feel like the offense just run way smoother bro 15 to 12 all right so my boy dre trying to fill out the defense he's trying to figure out how do he get a bucket on my boy reap and tk because like i said their pick and roll defense is insane if you ask me i would hate to have them go against my own team the straps defense is crazy and i feel like he could have had a couple shots he just wasn't confident enough to take it more reliant on the center which is cool it happens as a point guard at the end of the day they getting buckets on their possession it's 15 to 14 they trying to come back now again you're going to see another example of like i told you it's called free boards once your your center 
is like have that position in the front of the basket as a point guard you chuck that shot up because he get a free rebound now i know something for the people who don't play stage you won't understand free boards when it's with pick and roll like of course with iso i wouldn't chuck a contested shot because my teammates are in the corners and they not getting the board automatically you feel me but in a pick and roll set you can do that when you have a position where the center is out of place and your center has a free board now let me give the other team some credit before you guys try to discredit them and say they're not that good look at their defensive rotation me dribbling trying to figure out who's open the corner would normally op be open right there but they rotated perfectly the center drop they rotated to the corner that's amazing defense bro w to the other team like i don't have a problem with crediting the other team and like i told y'all i want to i want to show you guys my mistakes because as a point guard when you make mistakes you got to own up to those mistakes and that's how your team progress that's how y'all get better ownership not excuses ownership so now we're down because of me we're down three points because of me throwing a bad pass the defense read me like a book that was perfect they're basically doing like a double team where we basically have to split down the middle and i gotta basically make a decision do i want to dot the corner or do i want to dot the paint and as you can see my boy reap He's a veteran with it, so he already knows if he wrap around, it ruins their rotation. I actually make the great pass, and that's why he got that three to tie us up 20 to 20. Now, will my team get a stop right here? He takes a fade. We don't get the board. He goes back up. Like I said, their, their center's a beast. He going crazy, I'm not going to lie. Every time I look up, I feel like he just getting a bucket. Now, when the other team has good defense, y'all know me. At heart, I'm really an ISO player, so I don't have a problem with just going to get my own bucket. I feel like that's what separates me. The fact that I'm really an ISO player and I know how to go get a bucket, it... It doesn't mess me up with passing, but it helps me when a team has amazing defense. It's just like, I can just get the buckets, bro. And again, look, amazing pick and roll defense. That boy TK is different, bro. Playing his position, he is different, bro. I told y'all, bro. So again, when my defense get me a stop, I have to get a bucket. It's in my nature. Even though they double team room right now, I get my tight handles animation. We get a three. I feel like I'm going against all the players. Like, I feel like they just trying to stop me, but I still get a three. Even though I feel like in these first two quarters, I'm playing horrible. Like I told y'all, I feel like I'm just not warmed up. Like, it's just, a, it, it happens, bro. It's a such thing as just being cold. You're just not in your bag. You feel me? And I can own up to that. I'm not going to blame no other player on the court. It happens. It happens. Now, come on, Dre. You should have shot that, but great still by my defense. Hey, we capitalize on it. I pass up green. So now the momentum is changing. We finally got the biggest lead of the game, 28 to 22 at the half. And I feel like I'm playing bad. But we're still in the game. I'm still the player to have. So it's me against the center, who I believe is the team leader of the team. You feel me? Shout out to him. So we going to war, bro. I got 16. He got 16. Let's get it, bro. 28 to 22. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button for your boy. The videos are going to be a little bit more longer because I learned that you guys enjoy these gameplays. So hit that like button for your boy. That's going to determine that you guys want me to continue to show you competitive gameplay. So we coming out finally at the beginning of the third quarter. It's 28 to 22. Like I said, we got that lead. I'm going to start dying, bruh passing to who's wide open and as you can see right there with a the simple pick and roll to my paint beast jj easy pass to him now we're up a whole eight points again another biggest lead and while we got a lead look who going crazy again the, the one i told y'all the x factor that boy tk at the four getting all the steals in a pick and roll like we don't even gotta do the crazy rotation we was doing last game with these two defenders at their rightful position you feel me like that's just how it flows now again my teammates got me a stop i try to stop and pop right there it didn't work they get the rebound now free board is not gonna always work every time sometimes you're gonna make a mistake and that's on me it's really i feel like i was gonna pass out of that but i shot it early sometimes you get an early glitch it happens but again even with mistakes look at my boy tk he's going at it with a seven foot center now here's where the defenses start turning up even more on both sides of the ball again they're in that set again now you see it's hard to like for me to make that pass i still make a dot right there i feel like tk shot it too late it's cool we make mistakes you feel me now it's back to us to play defense that's the best thing like don't argue with your team when someone mess up just be like you feel me just move on own up to whatever happens and play d because otherwise while you wasting time doing that conversation about what happened or what could have happened look while y'all focus 
we get a steal right back. So it's just like, you can mess up while y'all arguing, bro. Don't waste time arguing, bro. 32 to 26. I'm realizing that center is too slow to really pick that up. So it's up to me to either dot, like I said, the center or the corner. And that's the difficult part about playing point guard. Now, you guys watching the video, y'all probably feel like, I mean, from the outside looking in, it looks easy. Like, I would have, like, you feel me? But to actually play against it and go against it, like, it's tough, bro. It takes IQ for real, like, you feel me? And, and I enjoy this mode. Like, it's just way too fun. Now, for my first time playing with Reap this year, he told me when he's on the court, he's going to take the pressure off me as a point guard to have to score every bucket. And this possession embodies that. I give him the ball. I'm not used to my lockdown taking it upon himself to get his own bucket like like you know how much more dangerous that makes your team when the guy to, at the two can get his own bucket not only am i scoring he's scoring and playing defense like oh look at rip that boy looking like the number one draft pick you feel me 2k league if you watching draft my boy reap defense is crazy monday through fridays man tsl trainings on defense you gotta know how to play defense so we're coming down with some of the last possessions in the third quarter before we go into the fourth they're trying to get a bucket they're trying to cut the lead try to pass across the court my boy jj reads that they intentionally foul because it would have got a bucket now again taking that pressure off your point guard when i'm rattled when i'm making them a lot of stakes you know i'm playing bad when i have a c plus i'm making a lot of mistakes throwing still i pass to my lockdown he dot the corner diva shoots it green that gets us up 10 before the fourth quarter seconds ticking will they get a bucket at the end no they don't have enough time we jump right into the fourth now the fourth quarter of course you guys know you got to make less mistakes every possession counts now pay attention to how i'm actually dribbling like look at me like you feel me from the first quarter movement to last quarter how i'm actually starting to warm up and get loose and like they gotta guard me now because i'm warm now like i told y'all we up 10 in the fourth it's up to this point guard now to finally like lock in and get some buckets or else it's over like so will they score and come back or is our defense too much he tried to dot the corner right there now somebody else actually has the ball now that's another thing i noticed when a point guard is just always dominant to the ball, when other people get the ball, they make mistakes because they ain't touched the ball the whole game, and now they finally get to touch it, and now they nervous. Like, look, I told y'all, I'm really moving now. So the buckets in the offense going to be crazy. I had a feeling that would get blocked. Like, do y'all see that clutch rebound, bro? Like, I'm a midget getting rebounds. Like, do you see the IQ to know my center going to go up when I pass it? I'm already going to be under the basket to get the ball back because I know it's blocked. Like, you can't train that in a point guard, bro. Like, you just can't, bro. But like I said, look, I'm way better with my movement. I'm warmed up. Look, it's over now. He blocked it. Great defense by the lockdown. You got to give him credit. But then you give my lockdown credit for capitalizing and stealing that. You feel me? I shot an open shot. Now, that's a tall lock, so he got the block. But again, my lockdown, you feel me? My boy Reap clutched up. We still up 10. This could be the dagger right here. Like, if we score around this time where we already up double digits, it's, it's pretty much will be a GG. But as you guys can see, I got the ball again. I told y'all I'm warmed up. I'm moving now. They going to really, that center really going to have to help or else I'm really going to get a bucket. Like, look, I'm too warmed. It's over. I'm telling you. I wasn't doing that in the first and second quarter. Y'all seen what I was doing? Throwing a bunch of steals, turnovers, shooting horrible um, I mean, I shot a lot of, uh, what well, I shot a lot of free boards, of course, because I knew it was free rebounds, but, hey, we played bad enough for him, and like I told y'all, it's all about ownership, look at me, I'm getting a steal, like, I'm the lockdown, I try to be disrespectful, I ain't gonna lie, and lob to my teammate, it didn't work, it should've worked, I'm not gonna lie, like, not too sure what happened there, but either way, we're up 12 points, we got a lot of cushion for us to even make mistakes, and you feel me? Like, that's just the beauty of when your team got the lead, bro. I feel like we played great defense the entire game. That center went crazy. He was getting buckets. They got it cut down to at least 10 points. So they trick us on defense with this nice backdoor play to cut it down by eight. Now, I told y'all, with all the mistakes being made, we have enough cushion to where we're good. Like, we're going to make mistakes. We're not perfect. And like I said, these are one of my worst games I've ever played, I feel like, in Pro-Am because I didn't get to warm up. Like, right there, that shot right there should have been green. I was watching open but that's me missing it's nobody's fault um but i'm trying to get the ball back and get the reset i grab it die you see the quick dot even though his isn't green either his drop why, why mines couldn't drop 2k 
why, why my green couldn't drop but either way we got the lead again we're up 11 it's 49 to 38 they got at least a two minute warning now so i ain't gonna lie who gonna get a bucket who gonna make their team come back because it looked like we got that point guard on lock like he's rattled i can for sure say yes i played bad but their point guard played worse and even with that still i get us an automatic mid range now look those middies would really be dunks if i had my actual pro-am build so it's just like i gotta do what i can do with my build that's not really ready for pro-am and i feel me i'm taking my little middies what the yo that's a crazy fadeaway i was just talking about dre like he gotta step up and take over bro but it's only seconds left so it's pretty much looking like a gg now we're running something called the two man i know they probably never seen that lineup that setup yet where we got the center standing on the block and then me and reap it's basically whenever one of us get takeover me and him can run a two man and just you feel me i could iso like we can run pick and roll like i just, I just we both just get busy at the end of the day and look look at the shots he's taking that's when you take the soul out of a team when you start doing that when your lock start greening like that it's over bro so as you guys can see it's only what less than 10 seconds left ggs to the rank four pro-am team that was a great matchup we're probably going to see them again they're probably going to see us it's all ggs win or lose on both sides merry christmas to you guys and happy holidays i hope you guys actually enjoy y'all breaking and still enjoying y'all break look for the end of this video you feel me just for the spirit of the holidays bro comment something nice in the comment section bro just say something nice bring positivity into the world by not being negative and just saying something nice bro that good karma will come back around like the video it's your boy the monster and we out of here eee!